Yes. And that's the key, guys. We got to experience what it is that we say we want. And that experience comes that's in good. execution. It comes in doing. It comes in moving. Um, but it's and, perfect because yeah. you just have to move. Yeah. You, it's, you said it. Yeah. You, you answered my question. Yeah. And it's scary and it's challenging and all of those things. Yeah. But just take a step. Yeah. Just take a step. Just take a, just just take one a step. step. Just yeah. one step. Just take a step. If you're a go-getter, faith-driven and family-focused and need to break through to your next level, this is the podcast for you. Your self-talk can reshape every area of your life. It's time to dream and think big. Welcome to the Self-Talk Experience with Darnell and Tracy Self. It's time to elevate, baby. Let's get into the show. Welcome to the Self-Talk Experience. I am Tracy Self. I'm here with my favorite person in the world. I'm her favorite person? Today. Your favorite? Okay. Today he is because he brought me to Spain. We are in Marbella, Spain, guys. And we're so excited about being here. This is a beautiful property, by the way. We've yes. been to Barcelona, but then we're in uh, south of Spain now, or a little southern part of Spain here on the coast. Mm -hmm. And this is where I'm looking up now to the villas. This is where the Obamas come every year. It is just, it is um, regal, like majestic and quiet. But Such an amazing experience. Yeah, we're here with some friends of ours. And then next week, we'll be meeting her parents in Morocco. So we'll yes. be in Africa. We look yes. forward to that. Yeah. But look, check this out. We are on our terrace right now. So if we start like swatting at flies and stuff, <laughs> if you're okay. listening to the audio, this is going to be perfect for you. But if you're watching <laughs> this, you, you never know. It's just like last week. But we are honored to be here. Yes. Uh, with the self-talk experience audience, um, because remember the things we say to ourselves about ourselves, like right here in our minds, it will eventually determine what we attract for ourselves. So we're excited today to talk about something people often talk about, and that is, I don't have time. And it can that self-talk all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have time for that. There's not enough time for that. Where's the time for that? Where's the time going? The time just flew by. Yeah. Time is a big part of our lives. Yeah. Um, we talk about it all the time. Even when we um, see someone we haven't seen in a long time, we're like, where did the time go? Yeah. Time is flying. You know, the kids are in kindergarten and you look up and they're graduating from college. Yeah. So time is a big part of our lives to figure out how to manage. Yeah, right? it's very true. It's very true. And so we just have to be very careful how we mm -hmm. look at time and how we define our discretionary time um, and what we do with it. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to talk about today because we believe that next week, next month, next year, God willing, you'll be here. And it's the little slivers of time that can make all the difference in the world. It's not the 24 hours. Because most people in their 24 hours, right? Mm -hmm. We all have 24 hours. That's, first of all, let's say that. Yes. Because... I think it's important because a lot of folks are like, man, I'm just trying to figure out how to get more time or trying to figure out, well, listen, you're never going to have 25. Yeah. <laughs> and, and someone else is not going to have only 20, mm -hmm. right? And you, But you'd be amazed at how many people can do a whole lot in two hours. But it's because they're intentional about those two hours. Exactly. So in the 24 hours, let's just say you sleep six to eight hours. Let's just say, right? Sometimes I may not sleep a whole six hours. Well, I definitely don't between the hot flashes don't. and the night sweats. <laughs> and then I have to go to the bathroom. So, you know. Yeah, that's why we got this fan here, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but so when the average, let's say six to eight hours. Yes. And then let's say the average person works full time eight hours a day. Okay. Or in their business, they may give it eight hours a day. Mm -hmm. Right? So now um, we're at, let's call it 16 hours. Mm hmm. You know, six to eight hours, or maybe fourteen hours if they only sleep six hours. Already, then you got to commute. Yeah. So, so for those That's who don't at least work an remotely, hour maybe. exactly, uh, and then you have to eat. Yes. So let's just call that one to three, because not everybody eats all three meals. But let's say you. I ate, do. Right. <laughs> I eat all three meals. Sorry. All right. Well, then, okay. So there you go. Let's that's, that's three hours then. All right, two to three hours, and then let's say you bathe. So well, let's say we do. Right. Let's say you bathe. Let's just and say all we the do. Other, we don't. Let's just say everything you do in the restroom. Yes. In the bathroom, right? Okay. Get yourself so, together. Yeah. Ev everything, right? <laughs> so uh, we won't have to talk about everything you do in the bathroom, but you know there's some things you have to do, and uh, so that's that's called another hour. Okay. So we're at 18 to 20 hours right now. Let's call it 20 hours. Well, so that's four hours. Wow. Okay. Right? Four hours left. Discretionary. You get to decide 
You get to earmark. You get to make the decision on what happens in it. Far. And this is not including uh, if anyone has any extracurricular activities, uh, if, if ministry is a priority in their life or church. Well, some, sometimes if you have a young family at that point, you may have practices or that was rehearsals us. That or was us. homework to help with, that was us. meal prep. Like yep. those things, yep. right? Yep. We're not, we're not talking about going to the gym. Yes. So we include any of that, right? Mm-hmm. Which is all discretionary. These The other things, pretty much you're going to have to have in order to live a normal life. Sure. Let's, let's just say in quotes, right? Mm-hmm. Like pretty much you're going to have to work. Pretty much you should probably be sleeping. So some of those things, right, are necessary. The rest, like you don't actually have to go work, work out. You should. Right, even if it's walking around the neighborhood, exactly. So we get, I'm packaging this because I want folks to really, to really get this. This is, this is key. And you know, I think about how many people in the four hours, the four hours, Mm -hmm. could make such a huge impact based on the decisions they make today. With that, for like, hey, look, I'm gonna spend one hour, and I'm gonna start researching investing. Okay. Every single day. So let's say let's say you took a day off. So six hours in the next week, you've invested. Uh, you spend some time in discovering more about education on investing. Okay. Are you better six hours later? Yes, yeah, absolutely. You, you haven't mastered it, but you're better. You're growing. Yeah, you're. You know more than you did the previous six hours before you started it. Or you could take that time to binge watch a show. It's up to That's exactly right. us. Yeah. It's up to us. That's right. And there's nothing wrong. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. That's what I'm about to say. This isn't a judgment episode. It is an awareness episode. Mm -hmm. It is, hey, I am now aware. Just almost, babe, take an inventory of where you are and knowing where you want to go and where you want to be. So taking a moment to take inventory of your activities and what you're focusing on and doing. And does that match where you're looking to go. Yeah, that's so good. Because a lot of times we don't assess it, so we don't have anything to strive for, yeah. anything to reach for, anything yeah. to look for beyond yeah. because we haven't set that goal or we haven't even put mm-hmm. thought to it. Yeah. But you have helped me to plan out what I want. Yeah. And what does that what does that process look like? Yep. Let's talk about that. Mm-hmm. Right? And then that goes with having an accountability partner, having a workout partner, having somebody to hold you accountable for, hey, remember, this is the track we're on. Yep. So you may be three episodes behind on that show. Yeah. Yeah. And it's exactly. okay to watch the show because sometimes we do need some downtime. Yeah. We do need a little, a little self-care. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But we, you but, have taught me to be so much better and intentional about that. Yeah, yeah, and it's it's like it's um I don't know if I would call it a time audit or uh, inventory, life inventory, mm-hmm. um, as you said, just to make sure that we take a look at okay, where am I right now? Right. And where the where does the adjustment need to take place? Mm-hmm. And why is this important, guys? This is important because if we constantly say. I just wish I was here. I can't believe I'm at this point in my life. And I, yeah. I mean, I'm already 50 or I'm already 30 and I thought I'd be here mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. or I thought I'd have this much or I thought I'd be in love or I thought and we have to now say, OK, where's my time going? Where is and it does it match what it is what it is I say I want? Right. Right. So if I want to love more, am I working on loving myself more? Mm-hmm. Right. Or am I just hoping I get better at a relationship building, hoping I get better at caring for myself and loving myself, hoping I become wealthier without any investment in any vehicle that creates wealth. That's good. That's so good. The, so the yeah. so when I was making $40,000 a year at the mall, I, it would have been inappropriate for me to be mad at the mall for paying me $40,000 a year mm-hmm. if I thought I was worth more. I would have to be mad at myself for accepting forty thousand dollars a year when I knew my worth was more. Yes, you see that. So, so with it's, it's displaced anger mm-hmm. and emotion mm-hmm. when we think that man, I'm giving them eight hours. Yeah, but what are you doing in your four to create mm-hmm. more value so that you can now go execute on whatever this vehicle is so now you can generate more than the 40 grand that this person has said you were knowing that you're worth 40,000 a month. But how do you get to that place, babe? Because sometimes we um, get in a space. It's almost like a rut, mm-hmm. right? And you, we do say these things to ourselves. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if I can do it. Mm-hmm. I don't understand why I'm here. I don't understand why I haven't 
um, you know, excelled here or done this. Yeah. We beat ourselves up so much. Yeah. And how do we turn that self-talk around in a more positive way to just push us out there? Because, yeah. you know, sometimes you're like, I wish I had more friends. I wish I had people to hang out with. Yeah. But you're not going to get more friends if you're sitting at home. Yeah. How do you say, okay, I need to get myself out there. I need to go outside. Yeah. I need to go to the park. I need to go running. I need to do put myself in a position yeah. to make friends and to meet people. Mm-hmm. Um, but sometimes we just get in a space. And I know some it's seasonal. Yeah. But do you have maybe any advice to say, okay, this is a step in the right direction? Yeah, you, you already answered it. It's a step. Okay. It's, it's step one. Like any child that you see starting to pull up on something to learn how to walk, you know, mm-hmm. at first they pull up, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And then they let go. And it's like, oh my gosh. And, and, they, scary. and then they hold back down or they, yes. fall, or they sit right back down. Yeah. And then they stand up. And they fall back for a little bit. And then all of a sudden, they take a step away from the table, whatever they were holding on to the chair. You're like, oh, my gosh, you're about to walk. They were walk, And nope, they sit back down. But it starts with small steps. So it's a process. Because sometimes when I think about where I want to be, you just want to get there. Mm-hmm. Like, okay, yep. what do I need to do? You want to close your to, eyes and appear there. Exactly. Without the journey. And not going through yeah, yeah, yeah. the ebbs and flows of what you're supposed yeah. to go but through. But the journey keeps you there. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Like, like if you don't know how you got there, any little mishap will take you back to a place and you can never get back. Mm. Like, if if we lost our money today, I know how to make money now. You know what I mean? That's not arrogance. It's because I've gone through the ebbs and flows, the ups and downs. And so when you've fallen down enough, yes. you build up resilience mm-hmm. and you build up the courage to get back up because you're like, I've been down before. So now I had the courage like... I just I, get back up. I got this. I got right. You Otherwise, you're like, if you've never fallen down, it's like if a pallet has never dealt with turbulence, then I'm pretty, I'm like, there's a bee flying around here. But look, if a, if a pallet is never dealt with turbulence, mm-hmm. that's not the plane that I want to be on. I want right. the pallet that comes on, hey, guys, it looks like, you know, coming up. And they're explaining what's about to happen. And they're like, they're not afraid. They've yes. been through turbulence. They know exactly how to handle it. They're confident about They're confident, like, oh, my gosh, I've never been through this turbulence before. Yeah. You know, so my point is, is that it starts with experiencing that thing. Yes. And that's the key, guys. We got to experience what it is that we say we want. And that experience comes That's in good. execution. It comes in doing. It comes in moving. Um, but it's and, perfect because yeah. you just have to move. Yeah. You it's, you said it. Yeah. You, you answered my question. Yeah. And it's scary and it's challenging and all of those things. Yeah. But just take a step. Yeah. Just take a step. Just take a, just just take one a step. step. Yeah. Just one step. Just take a step. And look, guys, we're talking about this this whole time audit, right? Or an opportunity for you to grow mm-hmm. from... Mm-hmm the slivers of time you do have. And so I'm just encouraging you. Like I know one of um, your goals, and am I okay to say this? Well, you don't don't know know. what I'm about to say. What are you, (laughs) sure, let's go for it. Thank you. One of your goals in your 50s is to be the healthiest you've ever been, to feel the best you've ever felt. And you know what I mean? And, And you have been intentional about that in the time that you've carved out mm-hmm. for fitness, the mm-hmm. time you carved out for your skincare, the time you carved, like, so even though you don't have to worry about the eight hours at, at a job, and I get that, mm-hmm. but- But I'm just at a different place no, in my you, life right now. Yeah, but my point is, is that you're intentional about the time, the slivers of time that you're spending and the things you want to improve. So even if you did have to work the eight hours, you're still oh, yeah. carving out. Oh, yeah, very strategic about exactly. my time. It's in the calendar. It is. You don't wake up and hope, like, am I going to work out? It's already there. And some mornings, you got to get up at 530 because of who you work out with, because they got to be at work at a certain time. So you, yeah. it's, and it's fine. Shout out to my workout partner. <laughs> but my point, look, guys, all, all I'm saying is that four hours or six hours that you have, mm-hmm. if you do an audit, of what you really do, you ain't taking inventory. Mm-hmm. You may say, "Man, I spend an hour on social media, just scrolling." Mm-hmm. And here's my advice: you're you never you're never really missing out on anything when you're focused on your goal. Ooh, that's good. And what happens that's is really good. 
Yeah, because people feel like I'm missing the out. The fear of missing out is a exactly big thing. Exactly right. It's a they big thing. They feel like they're, yeah, they're missing out. Like, I got to be at every party. I got to be at every function. I got to be. But yet, they're the same place they were five years from now. Mm. Because in the slivers of time, they felt like they were missing out. So they were at everything. And I'm not mm. saying that if that's your business to be at everything, you probably should. Mm. If networking is a part of your uh, str- strategy yeah. in opening doors, then you probably should. Mm-hmm. But if for the sake of I'm missing out and I want to be able to have the conversation about sports, so I'm not going to miss any football games or any basketball games or whatever the sport is, mm-hmm. that's what I'm saying. Like, that's not the reason to watch the game because you feel like you're missing out. The reason to watch the game is because it's enjoyment, like you said, it's self care, it's a moment for you to relax because you've had yeah. stimulation overload you've had you know mm-hmm. emotional overload of feeling like you've got to talk to everybody all the time and certain especially people are in a space like me we're around people all the time sometimes just sitting back watching game is a is an opportunity for you to just rest your mm-hmm. mind mm-hmm. so yeah. anyway so guys all i'm saying is that 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 one hour that you invest that i hope you get really intentional about this and you look at your calendar and say okay how much time do i actually have that's discretionary discretionary mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. what can i do in that one hour those two hours that can align with the goal that i've set whatever that goal is because yeah. either one, either one we got to adjust our goal or two adjust what we're doing in that time adjust the goal means that the goal could be i'm gonna be a millionaire Let's say your goal is to be, I'm going to make a million dollars and that's your goal. But then perhaps you have, you know, in those two hours, we're not doing anything that will ever create millions. Right. So you either adjust the goal and take the goal down to, let's say, six figures mm-hmm. um, or adjust what we're doing in those four hours. Exactly. Yes. One, of them, one has to adjust. And, so. when, and we always have to remember, too, that things are seasonal. So if you're listening to this or watching this right now and you just don't even have the wherewithal to mm-hmm. take that first step that's the season you're in and you're going to come out of it we always do yeah things are seasonal and it's going to be okay and whenever you're ready we'll be here with you to take that step yeah absolutely yeah we will because we've been there I, yeah. I understand yeah yeah <laughs> and again this is why we said earlier and i guess it's good that we book ended this way that this isn't a an episode on judgment like we're judging what people do with their time it's an awareness episode to be aware of where your time is going so that you can have some self-awareness take a look in the mirror and say man i set a goal to have more in life in the next five years yeah. and i only have three hours a day that's really uh, open a window where I could either watch TV, get on social media, work out, whatever it is. And you have to decide what's most important to you in that time. And it could be 30 minute slivers. Uh-huh. I guarantee you, you will It'll gain some difference. traction. Yes. Yes. This is why I get so excited because I know it's a little bit of time where I'm like reading on the plane and people might, like, man, you read so many books. Man, but it's 20 minutes here. Yes. It's 20 minutes here. Sometimes it's 10 minutes here. It's listen to the audio today. It was some yes. personal development when I was in the gym because mm-hmm. I was like, I got to knock this out. I have a meeting today here in Spain. And so I thought, okay, how do I get this personal development in? All right, instead of listening to music while I'm working out, I'm going to mm-hmm. listen to my personal development um, just so that I can knock it out. Those but it's little those little, decisions. It's little decisions, guys. And I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference. It's a slight edge. It's a simple, small decisions that seem like they don't make a difference at all in doing them but long term they make all the difference in the world and people can't see the results you you said this earlier people don't see the results in, until they haven't seen you in a long time and they're like man something's different mm-hmm. you know what i mean it's like when you haven't seen your little cousins and you're like how'd you get that tall <laughs> right. and, and they, they didn't you know they didn't go five inches overnight because you haven't seen them in a while and they mm-hmm. had a lot a lot of little time a little time yeah and i'm telling you babe once we decide that it's time yeah. and it's time for that first step yeah Run the play. Let's go. Yes. We got this. Yes. Because once you start, it's you're going to keep going. Yeah. And, going, yeah. and we're going to keep going together. Yeah. Yeah. Those small yeah. wins in there. Yeah. yeah. We we're talk about that here. all the time. Yeah. All right, guys. Mm-hmm. This has been another episode live from my bay of Spain. I wish we tried to, to do it in an area where you could really see um, the beautiful scenery here. You know, we should do this. Let's let's turn the camera around for one second just because you guys got to see this okay so all right uh, all right you hold the mic and i'm gonna turn this camera around do like oh this. gosh yes, okay this is gonna be great guys <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be great. Right, you coming this up. way yeah okay okay it's beautiful guys it is beautiful here it is gorgeous so 
This has been another right episode <laughs> of the Self-Talk Experience. Remember the things we say to ourselves about ourselves eventually determines what and even who we attract for ourselves. And if you don't feel like you have enough time, I don't have any extra for you. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. Thank you for listening to the Self Talk Podcast with Darnell and Tracy Self. We hope you enjoyed. Be sure to rate and review this podcast on your favorite podcast listening platform. And we'll see you next time. And remember, talk good to yourself.